Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be making this pumpkin collage. It's a jack-o'-lantern, um, and you can kind of see how I've cut out the couple pieces of paper and glued them down to make a collage. For our vocabulary review, we're going to look at the word collage, and like we said in the past, a collage is whenever you cut up paper and glue it down and organize it to make a picture, and so that's exactly what we've done here. Next, um, we're going to talk about shapes. In the past, we've talked about geometric shapes, and geometric shapes are the ones with flat edges and points. We've talked about that before, and today we're going to look at organic shapes along with our geometric shapes. And an organic shape is a shape that doesn't necessarily have any um, math sense to it. It doesn't have any exact form, kind of like the mouth for our jack-o'-lantern and the stem for our jack-o'-lantern and even the jack-o'-lantern itself. So they are what we would call organic shapes. Let's say that together. Good. Next we're going to review overlapping, and overlapping is any time you put one thing in front of something else, right? So like I drew this picture here, we can think about our collage having the yellow mouth glued on top of the orange piece of paper, or the orange piece of paper glued on top of the black and the brown piece of paper. And so that one again is overlapping. Let's say that together. Good. Now the next part is paper folding. We've kind of talked about paper folding in the past and paper folding is just simply what it is. Folding your paper, right? No big deal. But today we're going to fold our paper to make some symmetrical shapes. If you notice in our jack-o'-lantern, our jack-o'-lantern is symmetrical. Likewise, his mouth is symmetrical and his eyes are symmetrical. And I'll show you how to do that once we get to that point. Okay, so let's say it's symmetrical together. Good. So to get started, what you're going to need is you're going to need these papers. You're going to need one black piece of paper. You're going to need one orange half sheet, which is six by nine. Another yellow half sheet, which is six by nine. A brown half sheet, which is actually four and a half by 12. It's cut in half the hamburger way. And then a little piece like this for the stem, which is two inches by three inches. So to get started, Take your black piece of paper and write your name on the bottom. And then, once you got your name written, you can see it there if I tilt it into the light. Once you get your name written, give me a thumbs up so I know we're ready to move on. Good. Now take your paper and flip it over so that you have a black piece of paper on the front. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the first piece of paper, this brown piece, and we're just going to glue it down on the bottom half to make a table. Okay, so right here, remember your tap and glue bottle. You've got a little chunk of glue maybe stuck to the top here. Pick it off with your fingernail, tap it to get it started, and no matter how hard I squeeze on this, nothing will come out. You have to push it down onto your paper and squeeze, and then a bunny hop will come. Okay, push down and squeeze, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, and I'll put some on the bottom, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, and then take your paper and flip it over. Okay, now we're going to make the jack-o'-lantern. Take your half sheet of paper, and our jack-o'-lantern is going to be about this big. What you're going to do is fold it in half the hamburger way, and you're going to want to do what I call saving the fold. Right here is our fold line. Okay, this part of the paper we want to keep. Okay, you can notice my hand inside here and the fold right here. We want to keep this fold. We don't want to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil and you're going to start at the fold. Put your pencil on the fold. Good. Now we're going to just make some little bumps around the edge, kind of like a half of a cloud, like this, until we meet the other fold. So make your little bumps until you're done and end on the fold. Then give me a thumbs up. Now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut. Hold on to the fold 
like this and cut away from yourself. So you're going to start here. I'm going to start cutting on my line and I'm going to turn my paper. Notice how I'm turning my paper, not my scissors. And I'm just going to cut around my line until I get to the other fold. Notice my fold line is over here now. And I'm just going to kind of keep turning my paper until I get down to that fold. Now I've kept my fold line. You can see it's still there. And if I open this piece up, you'll see the empty space where my pumpkin was. And if I open this now, you'll see that my jack-o'-lantern is symmetrical. It's got the same bumps on each side. So it's symmetrical all the way around. All right. Now you're going to take this piece and glue it down. I'm going to flip mine over so I don't see my fold written there. And put bunny hops, pushing down, squeezing, push down and squeeze. And I'm going to flip it over and kind of place it right in the center. Okay. Now, it's time for us to do the mouth. So take your yellow sheet of paper, just like we did for here. Um, for our jack-o'-lantern, you can kind of make out the fold line. If I put a little dotted line right here, you can kind of make out the fold line and see where our symmetrical line is with our jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to take my yellow paper and I'm going to fold it in half again the hamburger way, this way. Fold it and crease it with your fingers. Okay, and I'm going to write on here again, fold. I'm going to write it twice just so you can see it. Okay, and I'm actually going to cut this paper in half. I'm going to turn it so I'm cutting right through here. So I'm saving the fold here and saving the fold there because I want two pieces. One's going to be for my mouth and one's going to be for my eyes. I'm going to set this piece aside and I'm going to take the mouth part. Now, you can notice how big the mouth is. If we put the fold right here on our fold line, look at how big that paper is. And we want to make sure that our paper isn't too much bigger than our, um, our jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to start here on the fold, and I'm going to draw like a smiley face. I'm going to curve up and curve down like that. Okay. Now, we're going to cut that shape out. So. Hold on to the fold, take your scissors, and cut on that fold line. Right along the line that we drew, and back towards the fold. Make sure you save the fold, okay? You really want to save it so that it doesn't get screwed up. Now I've got the fold, and if I open it, you'll notice that my mouth is symmetrical. Okay, now we're going to make fun, um, or have fun, and make the teeth. I'm going to fold my paper back up and I'm just going to cut some snips out of here. I'm going to like make some triangles by cutting in once and cutting in twice like that. And I'm going to remove those and you'll see when I open this up, I've got like a Dracula or a vampire teeth here and it's symmetrical right along the fold line. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to make some other ones by just cutting in. And at this point you can choose to have as many teeth as you want, okay, and have them anywhere that you want, as long as you make sure you don't cut the fold line right there, okay, because that's very important not to cut that so that we do have a symmetrical pumpkin mouth, okay. So here we go, I'm going to open it up and there's my symmetrical mouth. Okay, I'm going to glue my symmetrical mouth down, put some bunny hops on the back. Bunny hop, 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 bunny hop. So we have glue all the way along and then flip it over and make sure the fold is right on the fold of your orange piece of paper so that the symmetrical lines are both in the same place. Okay, now I'm going to work on the eye. Here we've got our paper folded, and we're going to save that fold. We don't want to cut that off. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut a piece right here. I'm going to make my eyepiece. Now, you can have your eye be anything you want. You can have it be 
a basic shape like a triangle or a rectangle or a square or an oval, but I'm gonna have mine be kind of like a teardrop shape, just like in my example. I'm gonna start here and curve it up and curve it down into like a teardrop shape. Okay, then I'm also gonna make a little circle here for the eyeball. Okay, and I'm gonna cut that out. Now, the trick of this is when you cut it out, you have to hold on to the fold and save that fold so that you have your piece of paper. And what's gonna happen is we've got two pieces of paper here, right? So we're gonna cut two of them out and they'll be exactly symmetrical as long as we make sure not to let go of that paper. Now I'm gonna cut the eye shape out first. Notice how I'm turning my paper, not my scissors, to cut the shape out. I'm gonna keep pinching onto those two and cut out the little eyeball. And notice how I turn my paper to cut the little eyeball out. Okay, and there I've got my two symmetrical eyes. One here and one here if I flip it over. So we've got two symmetrical eyes. Okay, take your eyes, arrange them to how you want them. If you want them close together, far apart, one a little higher or not. But let's try to make them symmetrical. Okay, now I'm going to take it and flip the first one over bunny hops on the back of it, flip it back over, okay, and bunny hops on the back of the other side, and flip it over, good, and now we have just the nose left. I'm going to take the rest of this yellow paper and I can cut a nose out now. Um, you can have any shape you want, if you want a triangle, an oval, um, uh, rectangle, square, whatever you want, or if you want to have an organic shape, that's fine too. Um, I'm just going to cut out this kind of rounded shape here for a nose, all right, and put it right in the middle like that. Okay, and you don't need, actually need the other piece. You can keep it if you want, but you don't need it. I'm going to put two little bunny hops there, flip it over. Okay, and now we're going to work on the stem. Now the stem is not going to be symmetrical. It's the one piece of our of our picture that is not symmetrical. So I'm just going to take this piece and I'm going to curve a little line. I'm going to kind of cut the corners off like this. And then I'm going to make a curvy organic line like this. And then I'm going to flip it over and kind of make a parallel line right along that to make the stem, because usually the stems are kind of parallel. There we go. So there's my stem. Then I'm going to take this, flip it over, put my bunny hops on the back, and flip it back over like this, and kind of tilt it to the side. Good, and there we have our finished jack-o'-lantern collage. So just as a reminder, the vocabulary we worked on today was a collage. We made a collage by cutting the paper up. We used both some geometric shapes and some organic shapes. We overlapped our shapes to create the collage by gluing one piece on top of the other. And then we folded our paper to get symmetrical shapes. And those symmetrical shapes are my mouth, the jack-o'-lantern body, and the eyes. And even the nose, because we kind of put it in the middle there. Okay, so those are our symmetrical shapes. And that's how you make a jack-o'-lantern collage.